The compressor here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad is super versatile. You can use it on every track and get some pretty good sounds, but sometimes you want that little bit of extra vintage warmth and some little bit more character from your compressor, and that's where the Rough Rider 2, a free AUV3 plugin from Audio Damage can come in. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Rough Rider 2 plugin in GarageBand here on the iPhone. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And today, I'm going to show you something very cool, because this is a free plugin by Audio Damage, who are a very cool plugin manufacturer. And Rough Rider 2, as the name suggests, is not your standard kind of compressor. You wouldn't be using this to smooth out your vocals and make things sound all nice. But if you've got something like a bass track or a drum track, as we're going to use in this example, that you want to give a little bit of life and a little bit of punch to then that is what Rough Rider 2 is all about. So let's jump in now and show you how we can create a nice sound with Rough Rider 2 on the drum track of my song here. So this is my track called Goats. It's a punk song and at the moment it sounds a bit like this. So you can hear there that it's a nice guitar driven punk song, but the drums are just not punching through. Yeah, they're sitting just below the mix now. Now, now what we could do is we could just turn the volume up on these, but what you're gonna then find is you'll start peaking on your drums. Let's just max these drums out and hit play. So that sounds okay. We're not even peaking, so we're doing okay there. But let's use some compression because the beauty of compression is that we can get some additional volume without putting our total peaks up because we're going to be squashing it a bit. Now, you don't want to squash everything. Like I said, you've got a nice violin part. You don't want to compress it using Rough Rider, but we're going to use it here on these drums. Now, how do we add Rough Rider to? Well, you download it from the App Store. There'll be a link in the description to how you can get it. And then we come in here, we tap on Edit, and we can use any of our blank slides lots here. So let's just remove it and I'll show you how we add it back in. We tap on the plus button here. We go to our audio unit extensions. We scroll down here and we grab the Rough Rider 2 plugin. And then to actually adjust it, we tap on the little icon here. And I love this icon. I think they look cool. The little dials here. Something about user interface like this that makes me just want to move these around. Even though they're not real, they're just on a screen. Anyway, Pete, focus. So let's now see what we can do with this one. We're going to hit done there. So by default, we'll turn it off. Let's just hit play. In fact, let's solo this track first of all. So we'll solo our drums here. We'll just hit play and I'll just bring this plugin in and you'll hear what it does by default. So you can hear that you've just got that real crack on the snare. You've got a lot more power and a lot more compression going on here. So let's see what this is actually doing. If we tap on the plugin here, we'll hit play and watch that gain reduction dial in the middle because that will tell you how much gain reduction or compression is taking place. Now, if you haven't used a compressor before, I'm not going to go through a whole uh, lesson on compression here, but I will link to a more detailed compression video, which will be up the top and down in the description right now. So you can check that one out. But the basic knobs that we have here is our ratio. So this is how much compression is going to be applied, whether it's down here at one to one, which is none, or all the way right around here to like a hundred to one or a thousand to one, something ridiculous, really, really crushing it. So we'll leave that there around about that sort of four to one ratio. Your attack and release. So you can say how quickly you want the compressor to kick in when it hits your threshold, which we'll talk about in a moment. So that can be really, really fast, or you can dial that around to be much slower. Uh, we'll leave that sort of around that point where it was. Same with our release. So if you have the release really slow, then it's going to keep that compression. As soon as it kicks in, it's going to hold it there. And again, we kind of want it to be punchy, so we're going to leave the release down a bit lower there. Now, sensitivity is also called threshold in a lot of other plugins. So let me just show you how this works. We'll dial it down. I'll hit play, and then I'll dial this gently up, and you'll see that it will start to reduce the gain, and you'll start to hear the plugin kick in. So let's hit play now.
So you can hear there that when I dial the sensitivity around too much, we get that pumping sound, which we don't really want in these rock drums. But you know what? If you had something like a synth bass or some drum and bass or some EDM style music, you can actually use this to create some really cool effects. So it's actually, it's not really the sort of compressor that you use on every instrument. It's the sort of compressor you want to add some flavor with. So And it's 100% free. So why not experiment with it? So we'll drop that sensitivity back down there and just get that little bit of gain reduction. Now our makeup gain, and again, this isn't a compression lesson, but makeup up gain basically compression cuts off your peaks and squashes things down and then your makeup gain brings them back up again and your final knob here is your mix so you can just mix in the compressor anything from zero all the way around to hundred percent we'll leave it as hundred percent by the way these dials they don't work in a circular way they you touch them and you slide them up and down so if you if you're using this plugin and you're finding it hard to use them remember that you touch them and drag them up and down so let's now dial in this compression and see if we can get these drums kicking nicely So there you go, we're just getting that nice little hit of gain reduction. We're, we're really sort of just sort of touching the edges here because we don't want a really dramatic effect. We just want it to be nice and compressed in here. So you can see that we've, we've, peaked our, we've peaked our drum bus there, but that's okay. Let's now come back and put this back in our mix and see if we've got the right drum sound for this song. Do work, they don't have to lift a finger. Go So there you go, let's just have a listen to the difference here. So if we turn off the Rough Rider EQ and you'll see, sorry, the Rough Rider compressor, you see we've got the other compressor there still in place. We're actually doing double compression duties here. So you could turn that off, but you know, there's nothing wrong with this. You can actually layer up compressors. It's a very valid technique. So let's hit play here. Actually, we'll come back to a louder part of the track here. Let's come back to this part here. We'll hit play and then we'll dial this in and out and you'll just hear the difference the Rough Rider can make. So this is with it out and then we'll kick it in. So there you go, and yes, we could just turn the volume up, but you wouldn't get that crack and you wouldn't get that sort of slight pumping that can really add to it, especially on your drums, your bass, and your rhythmic instruments. The Rough Rider 2 can really come in handy. So there you go, just a little quick overview of this. Try it on all your different instruments, it's free. Now the caveat I give, the warning I give with every one of these plugins is that everything that you add in here that's an external app can cause some instability issues and it can add to the processing power needed. So keep that in mind. If you're running on an older phone or an older iPad, try not to layer up a different uh, compressor and EQ on every single track, or you might sort of run out of power and processing. You can, of course, use that merge function. Once you've actually got this dialed in, you can merge it down to an audio track. And again, I'll link to videos where I talk about how to merge a track, and that will help you with your processing power. So if you are hitting optimizing performance and you're having issues with that, keep that in mind as well. But there you go, the very cool free Rough Rider 2 compressor plugin here for GarageBand iOS. There you go, how cool are plugins, especially when they're free? I wanna know what other plugins you recommend to use in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. Drop those in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to Studio Live today to check out all the latest videos and I'll see you next time around.